How's it going everyone? Welcome to a very, 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 three varies exciting weekly warehouse update. We're just gonna kick it right off with the Tor Series Discraft release. I got a big stack of basically all the molds here. I believe I grabbed one of each mold, but they're all gonna be dropping on our site 5 p.m. Eastern time tonight when this went live. They're all over there, so you can check them out. But first off, we got, they're all bottom stamp this year, so crazy swirl top, bottom stamp Luna here. Next one down, we got a six swirl top, little bottom fish stamp, Adam Ham is Tor Zone. And then, what's on this one? The Vulture here, Holland Hanley's Vulture. We got a little uh, Scorch. See, this one's really cool because it's got all yellow top and then the pink burst on the bottom. A little Valerie Mandahano Scorch. Look at that, look at that thing. Wilden, this is a Force Coriolis, has a Force this year. We got a little uh, Missy Gannon Thrasher. Nice little gray and pink swirls. This feels like a nuke, I'm assuming this is an Ezra nuke, yeah? A little Easy nuke. A little Raptorius here. Aaron Gossage has the Raptor. And I think I grabbed two, yeah, two. These are the Venoms. Uh, little pro tip, the Venom has a lot of Wonder Bread. Also, the swirliest, maybe second swirliest, but one of the swirliest discs that came in. Uh, these are just two random ones I grabbed. There's ones that are even swirlier than this, if you can even imagine that. Got a little Fierce action here. Paige Pierce, don't worry, I caught those on my knee. Nice. Paige Pierce Fierce. Sick little Toucan stamp, Toucan Sam. Uh, I believe these are some Dickerson Buzzes. This is like almost a Halo one. Chris Dickerson Buzzes. And then these, we, oh, if you saw the Instagram Live when I unboxed it, we didn't have the Zone OS. We didn't know when we were gonna get the Zone OS. We got the Zone OS in time for the drop. So plenty of Zone OS's, the Brody Smith, Dark Horse, ESP Swirl, Zone OS will be hitting the site as well. And these are the only ones that I think compete with the Venom. I mean, look at these, I just grabbed four here. I mean, that one's insane. Look at that one, what the frick? Wow. That one's insane. That one's got like a swirl pattern going in the middle. And then, I mean, I don't know what tip they're using to get these like little light bulb looking ones, but I mean, here's two more I just grabbed out of the box. They got them all over the place. They're wild, and this one has the Discraft foil too. It's like red and gray with the Discraft foil in there. Very cool. So. That's a rundown of the tour series, all hitting the site. Actually, it's all live on the site right now when you're watching this, um, but I'm imagining they're gonna go quick, so you might need to act fast. All right, we have Ledgestone dropping tonight at 5 p.m. This is wave number two, and we have some really awesome molds in here that I want to show you. Um, start off here, this is one of my personal favorites. This is an ESP Force. Uh, I believe these are ESP Light Forces. Yeah, so these are ESP Light Forces, but they're not like ultra light. So this one here, for example, and I think a lot of ours are like in the 160 to 165 range, which is actually a great range to be throwing a force, especially if you're a little bit lower arm speed, or if you have faster arm speed and just want a bomber force um, or something more comfortable for the forehand, it works out great. Um, so that's a really cool one. We have some awesome, this one had like some glimmer in it, um, some really cool stamps as well. We have some nice foils for that one. Um, another one I'm really excited about here is the Z Sparkle Glow Drone. I love the drone, really great disc. And and this is one of the best plastic Z. Sparkle Glow is always a sick plastic. Um, another one here, this is the Crush. This is an example of a Ledgestone mold, you know, being brought back essentially. Discraft does not produce the Crush anymore. It's kind of a faster, uh, I would say it's like an 11 speed driver, um, but they don't make this, this isn't in production. So Ledgestone is the only time that you can buy discs like this that aren't normally in production, which is a really cool thing about it. Um, we've got some ESP Swirl Ringer GTs. I mean, look at some of the swirls on these bad. Th these are crazy. Um, really good forehand disc, the Ringer GT is. It feels really nice and comfortable, a little thumb track. These things can go like really straight with the forehand but handle a lot of torque. Hunter used to throw them all the time. Um, and then I'll show you two of my favorites of this run. We have the Grateful Buzz, they're calling it. It's kind of a play on the Grateful Dead. Um, these ones come in a bunch of different fly dies, have that really cool stamp on there. And then I know you guys will be excited about this. We have a bottom stamped Midnight Zone. This is, if you're familiar with like the thousand rated zones that they did, this is the exact same plastic. I'm pretty sure it's, it's completely midnight, they're all blacked out like this and they have the bottom stamp. So a really, really clean looking disc. I mean, they're just gorgeous to look at. It almost looks like a vinyl disc. Uh, so yeah, Ledgestone Wave 2, 
is dropping. It's going to be dropping along with the tour series and all the stuff that we got going on tonight at 5. So 5 p.m. FoundationDisc.com is going to be the place to be. Make sure to check out Ledgestone. All right, some pretty cool stuff from Discmania just hit the site. We're going to go left to right here. So first off, I believe these are some Enigmas for the Discmania Open. Um, so I believe this is a Lumen is what they're calling it. I'd imagine that means glow. Uh, for the Discmania Open, very good feeling plastic for the Enigma there. Then next down the line, a very hyped up disc, the MD-1. Um, very good feeling. It almost feels like a lower profile Mako 3, if I'm being, being honest with you. It almost feels like a Mako 3 bottom with like a flatter top. Um, it feels very good in the hand, very comfortable. I know that when the Mindbender originally came out, people were very excited about that. That was like the Metal Flake MD-1. Um, and now the stock one's out. Trevor and I are actually about to go test this in the field. I'm very excited to throw it. I have too many neutral mids in my bag, so this probably won't end up in there, but uh, it's gonna be hard for it not to. I'm very excited to try it out. These white ones feel incredible. I think that's the best feeling sea line plastic they have out there right now. Next down the line, we got these links, but there's something special about them. First off, they're all crazy swirly. Secondly, they're cloud breaker stamped. If you got into disc golf around the time I did, you'll remember players like Paul was the most probably iconic one. He had the Macbeth AVR stamped destroyers. So it was like McPro AVR stamp on his destroyers and like he was the only one throwing them. He also had that, I believe it was a Firebird with like an Eagle stamp. It was a trend back then. Like players were constantly throwing a disc and the stamp on it wasn't matched up to the disc and it was like the coolest thing ever. And the only way you got it back then was if you either knew someone or if you were on a team and could stamp your own disc. That problem no longer exists because now we have cloud breaker stamped links. So you can pull this thing out, be throwing just a, a normal link and, well not a normal link because these are vapor. Uh, vapor smoke is this colorway. Um, and the vapor plastic, I mean it feels like, uh, it would probably technically be fusion burst, I guess is what it would technically be. It feels star-esque, a um, little bit stiffer than star. Very good feeling plastic and it looks very cool. And then you got a little cloud breaker swag on your link. So if you throw the link, you're gonna wanna pick these up. All right, we just had some really nice trilogy hit the site yesterday that I wanna tell you about, we still got. Um, first thing I wanna mention, this actually went up I think last week. Uh, we still have some, the Raptor Eye Saki Slammers. Um, everybody loves the Raptor Eye series. These ones are honestly some of the best Raptor Eye, uh, I guess, dyes I would call it that I've seen or swirls. Uh, we have three different colors here. We got the pink, the teal, and the blue. Um, really like this teal one in particular. You get some of like the smokiness around the eye. These stamps are just super sick. Um, and another cool thing you can tell in like the rim, there's also a little bit of the color flashing there. So this is like a really, really, really cool colorway that they've done for these. Um, Saki Slammer, super overstable approach disc. These are more of like a, a, blaze, or a baseline plastic. Um, Classic Supreme is, is what this plastic is. So make sure to check those out, really great disc. Uh, and then some new uh, mold here. We got the Savior, which is like kind of new. This one went up a little bit ago, but we have some Linus Carlson signature ones. This is the Royal Glant. Grand plastic. Uh, the Savior is an overstable approach disc. This one is, I would say, a little speedier than, like, well, certainly speedier than like a Saki Slammer or a Harp. If you're familiar with Trilogy, um, if you're familiar with other brands, it'd be speedier than like a Zone. You could rip into these pretty good though, and they're very nice and dependable. They have a pretty simple uh, kind of like parting line rim shape to them. Uh, not too deep, not too shallow. Really, really nice feeling disc. And in this Royal Royal Grand plastic, I mean, this stuff is just is impeccable. It's perfect plastic. Uh, another awesome Royal line disc that just came out. This is the Honor. Now this disc went directly into my bag. That does not happen very often with this at all. I, I really like, you know, pride the discs that are, take pride the discs that are in my bag. This disc, I just picked it up. I needed something kind of in that nine speed slot, which is where this sits, and it felt so comfortable backhand, forehand. What I found is it's pretty similar to like a Thunderbird, maybe a, a touch quicker and maybe not, maybe a touch less stable, but it's it's got plenty of dependability. Like you, I can rip into this with some turn even and it'll get out of it. Um, very quick, super comfortable, and the Royal Line plastic is money. So make sure to check out the Honor if you want a disc that impressed me enough to go straight in my bag. These are still the first runs. Fantastic disc, really nice fairway. Uh, another disc I want to mention is the Glory. Uh, this is a mold that's been out for a little bit from Latitude, but right now they have these Orbit ones um, that are, this is a Royal Grand Orbit, and these are the Rebecca Cox Tour Series ones. Really cool stamp on there, some nice artwork. You've got like the tree here holding up this basket, and the Glory is a fantastic, 
fairway driver. This is kind of similar to the Honor, but a seven speed, so it's slower, a little more low speed stability in particular, um, but it's dependable. This is kind of like if you're like a T-bird thrower, this is really nice. If you already throw in the Latitude lineup, I would say this might be a touch more stable or a little bit slower than like a Saint Pro. Uh, in my experience, the Glory is a really nice all around fairway disc. You should definitely check that out as well. And these ones are just gorgeous. I have a number of colors there. So yeah, make sure to check out the Trilogy Collection. If you are looking for constantly new designs and new molds coming out and new stamps and just exciting things to throw, make sure you're checking out Trilogy, even if that's something you haven't thrown in the past because of all the restocks that come in and all the new stuff that comes out, Trilogy is always on top of that. They are always the ones with the most exciting things, constantly hitting the site. It seems like every week we have a new Trilogy job, new stamps, new everything. It's very exciting. All right, all of the Lone Star restock, we've been talking about it for a little bit, is now on the site. So if you've been holding out because you wanted to wait for the Blue Bonnets, Blue Bonnets are here. Blue Bonnet is one of their newer putters, actually, 2301, really good feeling putter in the hand. Feels almost P2-esque, a little more rounded bottom, I would say, but a similar shoulder shape, um, but it's in their plastic, so a lot more grippier than uh, the Discmania plastic, so whether you like that or hate that, something to take note of. We have the Dos X down here, little 84 negative one two. Chupacabra, people used to hate how I said Cupacabra, so I changed it just for you. 9304, Firebird type numbers, Firebird type feel. I would assume a Firebird type flight follows that. The Armadillo is one of their most popular discs. Very cool Dillo stamp on there. It was in their V1 plastic, which is a little gummier. They also have V2 um, that, you know, is basically the same grip, but a little stiffer. The Bayonet, I've actually never tried this one, I don't believe. I tried the Bowie last time, but 135 negative 2, 2. A uh, recent addition back to my bag, the Curl. Very good, 11 speed. I want to say it's like 11.5, negative 2.2 2 or negative 1.2. Um, let me see if there's any curls with flight numbers. No, uh, something like that. But for me, I like to be able to throw it hard on hyzer. It flips up and rides and then gets a full flight out of it. So great addition back to my bag. I absolutely love the curl. What else we have down here? Oh, down here we have the Super Dillo, which is just a very large version of the Armadillo. A uh, little bit of like a, I don't know, funny, funny disc. Catch disc, I don't even know, I don't think it's PDGA approved, um, but good way to warm up, play catch with your buddies, and also just a fun thing to whip out of the bag during a casual round. Down here we also have the walker, a nice overstable mid. Um, I think you're getting the picture here. And then obviously last but certainly not least, Trevor's all time favorite Lone Star mold, the Warbird. Very overstable destroyer vibes, um, great feeling plastic. This is in their alpha plastic. Seems like a lot of these are kind of like bursty, a little swirly going on. You can really see that on the back there. Uh, very, very cool disc. Nice and overstable, consistent flight. Um, so yeah, lots of Lone Star. I just touched on like half it. I didn't even get to hit some of my favorite molds, but you can head over to the site and check out the Lone Star collection if you haven't yet. Um, you'll be able to feel the difference in your hand. It's pretty sick stuff. All right, since it is now springtime and starting to get warmer, we're gonna run a big sale on our hoodies. So it's not really hoodie season anymore, so we wanna give it to you at a fair price. If you wanna get a hoodie at a really good value, that's what we got going on now. First off, we have some Dark Horse hoodies here. Um, we have a bunch of these on the site. Uh, we also have our university hoodies. These are kind of simple ones, just gray. It says Foundation Disc Golf. We have a logo on the sleeve. And then our cotton, hoodie, or, uh, cotton candy, I should say, uh, hoodies. Uh, we have these as well. These have the plus one and then Bogey Bros logo on the back. We only have a few of these left. Um, but anyways, all of our hoodies now are going to be going for $30 on the site. Usually these retail around $55. So we're having a huge price cut on them because we realize it's a warmer time of the year now. Uh, so we're going to give you hoodies on sale right now. Uh, we only have a few left. But if you want to pick up a hoodie at a really good price, you can check it out, $30. Now, because it is getting warm, guess what you are going to need? Maybe not a hoodie, but you're going to need water bottles. And we have them here. Um, these are some really nice bottles. These, I believe, are, yeah, 32 ounce bottles. We have them in like the smoke color, red and blue. Um, these bottles are dishwasher safe and you're going to need them out there on the course. If you don't take water out there on the course, you will pay the price. I do it all the time when I forget and it's not good. So you can check out our water bottles. We have them in a few different colors. Other than that, that's all we got for the warehouse preview this week. We will see you again next Friday with another one. A lot of stuff hitting the site. Remember, Discraft Collection is going to be popping at 5 p.m. Be there, get on it. They're going to go quick and it's going to have some awesome plastic. So see you then.